Kane cast the deciding vote in July to end the GOP's effort to simply repeal and replace Obamacare. And now he is set to be a big factor in the latest attempt. McCain released this statement, I cannot in good conscience vote for the Graham Cassidy proposal. I believe we could do better working together, Republicans, Democrats, and have not yet really tried. Nor could I support it without knowing how much it will cost, how it will affect insurance premiums, and how many people will be helped or hurt by it. Republicans can afford to lose only two votes. McCain and Senator Rand Paul have already said they will vote no. Senator Susan Collins of Maine says she is waiting to make a final decision until the Congressional Budget Office releases their report on Monday. But what I'm hearing there concerns me as well because CBO is saying that it is being given insufficient time to do an analysis of the effect on coverage on how many people will lose their health insurance if the Graham-Cassidy bill goes through. Governor Doug Ducey released this statement. The people of Arizona expect us to repeal Obamacare. I remain supportive of Graham Cassidy and encourage others to do the same. 51 votes are still possible.